Now you know how to select specific rows and columns from a given data frame. Now let's see how to filter rows and columns that satisfy one or more of your conditions. You might have certain conditions. For example, you want to filter out all the rows where the account length, this particular value, is greater than a certain number. Or it could be the case that you want to filter out all the columns that start with a certain character or any such rule. It could be this rule, it could be any such rule. You can easily do that. All you need to do is, in order to filter out rows, you need to create what is called a row boolean mask. A boolean mask is nothing but a vector or a series that contains only trues or false. A row boolean mask means the boolean mask that you create should have as many items as there are number of rows in your data frame. Likewise, a column boolean mask means a column boolean mask means it should have as many items as there are columns in your data frame. Now, if you want to select specific rows, say you want to select all the rows where account length is greater than say 100. To do that, you need to create a boolean mask that should have the value true in all the places where your account length, these values are greater than 100. In places where it is not, it should have the value false. Such a boolean mask once created, you need to pass in to the data frames, pass into the data frames first row argument. This should be your boolean mask. Likewise, for your column also, you need to pass in your column boolean mask. Once you do this, all the rows that has true will be selected, all the columns that has true will be selected. That's how you do conditional filtering basically. So let's work this out. For instance, you want to create a new data frame that contains all account length values to be greater than 100. So this is how you create a boolean mask. df account length greater than 100 is going to give you a series that looks like this. All the places where your account length is greater than 100 will have true. All right. Likewise, say you want to extract all the columns that starts with a T. That starts with a T. You can access this str. We will come to this. We will look at this in more detail later on in the course. But understand that for text columns, there will be an str attribute. Under that attribute, you will have all the basic Python strings. All those will be present inside this str. All right. We are accessing that starts with this is one of Python's string methods, starts with T. So those columns that start with T will be selected. Let's run this as well. So here, this is also a Boolean mask. Here, this is giving out a NumPy array. This is an array, right? You can use an array or you could use a Pandas series. Both are okay. Now pass in your row filter mask. You get all these rows will have account length greater than 100. See, you have 1669 rows over here. Likewise, you can do the same for column filter also, but let's first see how to combine two or more conditions. Now, this is one filter where account length is greater than 100. This is another condition where total night calls is less than 90. You want to select rows that satisfy either this or this condition. That is an OR filter. You can create an OR filter using this pipe notation. This is present right above your return key in your keyboard, right? This is your pipe notation. If you want to satisfy both these conditions, only rows that satisfy both these conditions should be filtered out means you can use the ampersand symbol and condition, right? So like this, you can combine as many conditions as you want. Now, let's do this filtering also. Now in this output, either account length will be greater than 100 or total night calls for this row, account length is not greater than 100. In this case, total night calls will be less than 90 total night call will be less than 90. Now here you can include column filters also. The column filter mask we had earlier created. I'm going to copy this and paste it over here. So here only the columns that has T as the first character will be filtered, will be selected. So using this method, you can do all sorts of row and column filtering. Let's also run the example for the AND condition. In this case, both filter 1 as well as filter 2 must be satisfied. That's the difference. Next, we have a function or a method of the data frame called where. Instead of filtering out the rows that do not satisfy this condition, it will replace all those rows with missing values. In pandas, missing values is represented using NAN, right? In all those rows where it is not satisfying, it will use NAN. Now, after getting this, you can either drop these NAN rows or in certain cases, you will want to fill those NANs with certain other value. 
for example if you want to fill all these nans with zero you can do that using dot fill na if you want to drop these NAN rows completely you can do that also. So here we have dropped it essentially. So this is the original situation where we are filtering out only the filter 1 and filter 2 matches. We will have a more detailed discussion of how to working with missing values later on in the course. But for now just understand that missing values are represented using NAN not a number. 